Sup gamers, just in time for Valentine's Day, it looks like Snap was nice enough to make some changes, giving us power couples. I'm bringing you a Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman combo deck that you might enjoy if you enjoy playing discard. And personally, I think it's the strongest power couple that there is right now, because with Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman, you get a plus two power buff to each one of them. Now, the whole idea here is taking Invisible Woman and maybe putting your Drac or your Morbius behind it while you just discard everything. And it's not until the end of the game, the opponent realizes, oh, you've got a giant Apoc that your Dracula is going to discard, or you have a really big Morbius because you've been discarding this whole game, but I didn't see it. The other thing to consider here is I actually stack some of my like baby discard cards behind Invisible Woman, especially in the cases where I maybe haven't pulled Morbius yet. I don't have Dracula, so I don't really know if I'm going to, you know, be able to, you know, turn it into a big Apoc or even just discard one of my bigger cards and change its power up enough. There are definitely plenty of flexible spots in this deck. I mean, really, you can take in and out a lot of these cards. Uh, the biggest one being Meek. You'll hear me talk about it in some of the games. I do feel like there are some instances where Meek is acting bugged, but I don't know if that's true. So check out some of the games and let me know if I'm just faded. I think a good sub in for Meek would probably be Black Knight. If you have it, this is going to be a much better card to have in this deck. The other card that you could put in here is definitely Sunspot. It can be helpful and give you a little bit of extra power on the board, or you can just discard it. So definitely give this deck a shot. I think it's a lot of fun if you like discard and it has like kind of a weird feel to it with the Mr. Fantastic plus Invisible Woman stuck in here, giving that extra Valentine's Day buff. Let me know if you enjoy the deck and check out some of the gameplays next. All right, so we did get, we got a Visible Woman off rip, which is nice. And we have Modoc, so that's, that's our big discard engine. But what we need is either Morbius. Ooh, you are discarding things as well. We need Morbius and or Dracula. All right, we do get the Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman combo on turn five. Cards are going to cost a little bit more. These locations are absolute garbage, so that's not super great. They are hella running. Uh, they must be running a hella if they're discarding something like a, a death. So I might be in trouble here. This may be a really hard matchup with this deck because uh, it's a little bit of a weird one. But we can do this. I think this makes the most sense. I don't really care about Vibranium Mines because honestly, it's more fodder to discard. The only problem is, is I'm not running Morbius right now. Uh, and because I'm not running Morbius, that puts me in a terrible situation. Okay, so let me, let me play this out. We're gonna do one of these. So Blade's gonna hit Lady Sif and then Wing is gonna hit Wolverine. Hopefully Wolverine either goes mid or right doesn't it's not the end of the world but it's gonna make it what in the hell harder to win so now, now we've got lockjaw so they're definitely doing some like some hella sh or like some ghost rider dipping okay of course that goes to the left so he is at a two okay i got modok and meek so i'm really not playing anything this turn i could throw meek over here I think I'm just gonna have to throw Meek over here because we got we need Meek to fly over to this right side. I'm probably gonna get a Vibranium Rock. Yep, okay, so there's the Ghost Rider and that Magnetos. Nobody to move, thank the Odin. Okay, this might not be bad because we didn't we never wanted to win this lane. Never wanted to do it. I do this is where Meek could actually chalk me if I'm not, if I don't do this right. But I think this is my only option and it's not really a great one. I need Meek to go to the right. All right, I think they beat me. Minions great. Me. Okay, that's death. That's not great. I think we lost. So GG's. I don't know if I can do the math right. So we win mid, that's fine. I don't think I'm gonna win the right because Meek is not gonna work correctly. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, but from my perspective, that should still count as a discard. Oh God, Sanctuary 2, add a random infinity stone to your hand. Okay. Draw a card, ooh. Okay. Well, again, I'm going to throw Meek into a random place because it just makes me laugh and it puts weird pressure on the opponent. Wow, we're getting some strange cards now. Okay, so there's Nico. I don't really remember what Nico does. It's been a while. That's nice. So we could end up with Meek here. I think the Time Stone does make a lot of sense there. 
Uh, we're again, I'm not getting my discard engine, so it's really hard to know what the right choice is here. On turn three, we can get a big Mr. Fantastic, um, and then we can Time Stone on turn four. I probably should have played this Time Stone. Uh, and I need to think about it a little bit because if I don't play it now, I'm actually gonna get chalked. Okay, so we get a little buff. Th I think that we just play the Mr. Fantastic and not worry about the Time Stone. That's fine, I'm not really sweating yet. After turn four, destroy all cards here, controlled by the player that is losing. I mean, you could do that. You actually, I don't get any buff off of Meek if that happens, but all right. Totally forgotten how all of the spells or whatever for Nico works. That is the sickest of Icemen. Hold on, let me get a peek. Oh, that's the mech variant? Yeah, those are pretty tight. So he wants to destroy that, understandably. Honestly, I don't <laughs> I don't have anything big enough after turn four. I really don't have anything big enough to deal with this. I think I might get rid of Drac, but if I get rid of Drac, I'll probably regret it. I could just throw the Hell Cow over here and discard some stuff. Um, it's maybe not my smartest play, but we'll see. It's a big power card. I don't know if they were trying to beat me here or they were trying to give me some trash. I can't really tell. So we have no more Drac. That's kind of bad. They're going to bounce everything. That's also not great. So that's going to destroy everything from... Oh, I get myself destroyed. No, no, no. Hood's, Hood's a negative card. I forgot. Meek moves. I did not even think about that for whatever reason. Okay, this is pretty terrible. I will not lie. This is a pretty bad spot to be in. I'm going to put the time stone here. No, I'm not. We're going to do this. We're going to do this instead. We'll discard something random at the end and get a big blade. I need that energy and card draw because right now I'm losing this game 100%. There's no way we win. Okay, there's Apoc, so that's super helpful. But, ooh, hell, I've never seen this. After you play a card, move there and gain plus two if it has an on reveal. So we're going to move this. We're going to move it. Okay. So you're trying to win the left. Oh. All right. This is the final turn, right? Okay. So they've won left. No big deal. Uh, yeah, this isn't, this isn't good by any stretch because this is maybe not that powerful right here. What I could do is try and do a big play here. And if Meek works right, cause I will have discarded Lady Sif, Meek should go to the right and maybe that helps. It's not going to be that big of a win though. We'll see. Let's take a peek. I don't know what they're going to play on the last turn. I'm not really sure what's going on in this deck. Obviously, it's a bounce deck, but like Werewolf, Nico, I don't know what kind of archetype this is. The Werewolf is pretty dope. And they obviously planned it out so that it would bounce. It would start here, gain the two, and then get all the way to the left, gain the two. And I don't know. This is the last turn, so they can't pick stuff up. They're basically going to have to vomit a bunch of things out. All right, so they ham. That doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> I've never seen that animation. Okay, so they beat me on the right. I didn't anticipate the wolf or, or the wolf moving again. So we definitely lost. There, yeah, there's no doubt about that. So we get a discard. Ooh, if this works right. No, nah, I don't think it'll matter. Yeah, so it was just a massive overcommitment in the mid. See, again, I discarded technically two cards in that run right there and then meek did not work correctly because this is the end of the final turn he should at the very least gain plus two because i discarded apoc once and then i discarded i think it was lady sif i don't have my like little game thing up uh, 
So I do think that he should have moved twice, in which he would have been here and then here, but I mean, plus two. Plus two would have been seven, so I would have tied this lane and then probably won by the tiebreaker. We're not getting a whole lot of like great wins out of this quite yet. This is a much better start, honestly, because I have Lady Sif, Apoc, and Blade. Um, let's just, we'll just throw Miki out. I, I could go for the discard right away, but I don't think that it makes any sense to do that. I don't have any more one costs. <laughs> Uh, I don't really want to discard Mr. Fantastic if I don't have to, because it's going to give me a bunch of extra power. Um, so I think I'm just big chilling right now. This could be a good turn four play where we, if, if it works out right, where I discard like a, whatever it's called, a Wolverine maybe would be good. Okay, this changes things a little bit. Because now we have this guy, and we've got some discard. We're likely to pick up more of our discard engine as we go. So part of me wants to do Morbius here, and just go ahead and Blade get rid of Mr. Fantastic. That may be the wrong move, but I, I think based on the number of turns we're on, and they did that. Which... Hilariously, I'm pro I'm likely to pull Drac at this point. Okay, so then we fill this up with Miki. I should have paid attention to the other location. That's not the end of the world, though. This is actually kind of perfect. Um, that might be an overcommit. You've got negative three here. You might be trying to eat stuff there. So we'll try and compete because I'm okay getting little getting rid of Sif and you know Clip and Apoc. Guess how does Hellcow work? Discard two cards from your hand. Ooh, that was something I actually did not think about. The luck is not on our side right now. I will tell you that much, faux free. Okay, so we, we get the Morbius up a little bit. This is kind of a terrible situation. Because really, my only shot is a 16 mid to win, and then we have to play APOC left. Like, that's, that's, that's it. That's all we're getting. All right, so they blow shit up in the mid. Okay, we got the soldier. I feel like death's going to be in here somewhere. Okay. So 16. Uh, this doesn't feel super awesome. Can't miss. <laughs> I think this one I've lost because like 16 feels very beatable. This is my only option and because I have no other discard options. This probably is just a retreat, uh, but I'm really not that worried about it. I want to see them play it out. I feel like they got a death and yeah. Oh no, they played a bunch of cards. Okay, there's a death and oh. wow, we barely eked that out. I, I'm surprised they put the death where they did. Uh, I'm actually okay with this because it gives me more things to discard. Potentially either making Meek big. All right, so they're playing, what is it? High Evo. All right. Thing. Now, I don't get the buffs off of this card, right? Like, it doesn't, that doesn't actually matter. Far rightmost card. Well, let's go ahead and just start contesting. So we get rid of the thing. Meek should move. Hopefully Meek comes all the way to the right. Of course, Meek does not come all the way to the right. <laughs> oh, the luck is hilarious. I don't have any cards with no abilities because uh, even that's got, got some abilities on it. I do feel like I have to make a little bit of a call here. Like, do I go for this Mr. Fantastic move? Or do I try and like play mid and then see see how Meek moves on turn five with Modok? Really, I mean I'm kind of in trouble again where I don't have either Drac or Morbius to really help me here. We'll see what they do. So they're they're gonna let this this thing float. Okay, there's there is Morbius. 
this is turn four. What do we want to do turn four? Honestly, I think this is the move. It gives me extra stuff. I'll Modoc the next turn. And then we'll see how it feels in terms of what they play. I don't know what they're playing mid. Okay, Wasp. I have a bunch of stuff to discard. This is actually great. Luke Cage. I'm not going to be knocking any of their cards back, so I'm not super worried about Luke Cage. Okay, this is a lot. That's a big Morbius, so I think we'll end up just Modocking. They're I think they get an A-bomb for free, which is what that is. Does A-bomb have any uh, special effects outside of just being free? No. That would be nice if it went mid. It did not. Okay. So 19 feels pretty good. Meek. Okay, Meek going all the way over there actually is not bad. It's not bad at all. I don't really know what the right move is. I feel like we just APOC to the right, and that's kind of all that she wrote. Because they're going to win mid, and they're probably going to try and contest right. I doubt they have anything big enough that they're just going to throw it left. I uh, don't really know this deck matchup all that well. I haven't played high EVO in a hot min. And they dip set. Okay. All right, so at this point, we're 2-2 two and two with this deck. We've had some good pulls. We have some weird ones. Uh, so let's see how this last game goes and really tell us a little bit more about how this deck is put together. So I could do a bunch of things. I don't really want to get rid of my Drac, so I don't think Blade turn one makes any sense. Vibranium Mines is surprisingly helpful in this deck because you just get more things that you can discard with MODOK specifically. Um, or Hellcow, or really any of your discards, but since Modoc kills everything in your hand, the more things that, you know, you can freely discard, the better off you're going to be. All right, so this is a two-piece. I think I'm almost willing to do one of these and hide Drac over there, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll take a, vi a couple of Vibranium. Oh, okay, so another, another high Evo deck interesting so they will probably win that mid lane oh that's a destroy lane that's beautiful oh that's beautiful um this is weird and i tend to do this right i'm actually gonna hide the blade because it's it's extra discard at the end it's not gonna hurt me and i'm just gonna put wolverine here uh, i know he's gonna bounce somewhere else and likely he will end up in this far left lane uh, but I'm not super worried about that. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't even get touched. That's hilarious. I feel like any other time that would absolutely explode. Uh, so I couldn't count on that there. We're tied this lane. It's turn four. I've kind of got to make a decision about what, what two lanes I want to win. Uh, right now. So that's going to give me some discard. Discarding really doesn't do me any good at the moment, if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, mainly because like I, I don't have Morbius, so discarding doesn't do me a whole lot. That's kind of fine. I was never really planning to win the middle anyway. Okay, crucial question time. Does this change my gameplay in any way? I don't think that it does. I really don't think that it does. The only question I have for myself because this is this is probably the play, but I I honestly could lose out to it I could try and do this and see if I randomly win so I've had my like one out of four shot already let's see what happens this could be you know absolutely chalk ggs that's interesting are you gonna full float your last turn Now, if it lets... No, it won't let me keep the Hell Cow. That's actually kind of terrible. Um, okay. So, let me see what I get for my last turn. 
Oh. <laughs> this is so terrible because this is my only answer. Oh, it's my only shot. Okay, they they throw an APOC down there. Please let it get destroyed and mine not. Are you serious right now? I do think that I might win this lane or I'm gonna tie it, I guess. Oh no, because I hid I hid some discard stuff in here, so we're absolutely gonna win this lane. And we're gonna win the far left too. What a strange game. Strangest game ever. But again, that Invisible Woman is just such a weird card for this particular deck because they don't necessarily know what you've had under here. I mean, hell, I forgot what I put under here. But basically what saved me in this last game was putting this blade here. Um, I did forget about it for sure. But ultimately, pulling Morbius on the last turn, having a blade here, and getting the Dracula all under Invisible Woman was kind of just too goaded to know what to do with. I did get really unlucky over here with losing my Hell Cow, but not losing Wolverine, because uh, I kind of wanted Wolverine to shoot somewhere else. Uh, and again, they got rid of my monster with their Shang-Chi, so that, that happened a couple of turns early. Uh, and then, of course, they had the A-Bomb, which was great. It was huge. Uh, I barely eked out two, and that was based on having Morbius and then having Blade and Dracula discard. So at the end of the day, this deck is fun, and I think that's what Marvel Snap is most meant to be to me. Like, I don't really care as much about the competitive aspect. I want to have fun when I'm playing these decks. For me, that usually means playing a discard or destroy deck. That's typically what I'll play. And in this case, like, the, the Invisible Woman was awesome, uh, the addition of Mr. Fantastic, I honestly didn't get to see it as much as I wanted to in these five games or as much as I felt like I've seen in offline play, which is a little bit disappointing, but I gave myself five games to see what we'd get. Like the Meek, super flexible. You do not need to keep this card in here. This is more for fun. Just got the card myself and I'm just kind of enjoying, you know, the chaos of playing it. Although I, I still stand by what I said. I think it's bugged in some cases. Uh, but again, if you know otherwise, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about how Meek's working. can change a lot of these cards. The main staples are going to be, I think, MODOK. Like, MODOK is just the discard god. Uh, APOC, of course, is going to be super important for your Dracula. And then anything else, you can kind of flex out for different discard cards. So I definitely enjoyed playing this Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman combo inside of discard. It's definitely, I think, the most powerful of the power couple changes they've made for the week. But let me know which power couples you're enjoying this week. If you try this deck, awesome. Let me know how your win rate goes or what you changed or what you, you know, subbed out for any of the cards or how the games went for you.